What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Decibel Duo. We are here at the beautiful Arcadia High School for probably the biggest prom. No, it's by far the biggest prom production we've ever done because usually proms are in small venues and we don't have a lot of room to work with. So we have to slam a little bit of lights and whatever we can fit in the venue. But right now the venue is the whole entire courtyard of the Arcadia High School here in Phoenix. Um, we have probably just a dream venue for a PA sound system and light show out here. Uh, we can use lots of big hazers. We're bringing out an MDG CO2 based hazer. Um, we're bringing out the array towers, the line arrays, and we've got this massive field that the kids are gonna dance in that goes all the way back to the back of the school. Uh, it's just gonna be a subwoofer power, hour, power alley. Um, and a lot of fun, and a lot of bass. And me and Sam are throwing it back like the, like the good old days. It's been, a, it's been a long time since we made a good gig log and a good fun dance. Oh yeah. So, <laughs> don't know how many kids are gonna show up. They don't have the numbers because they did some online ticket sale thing. They can't figure it out yet, but hopefully we get five or 600 kids front row, pack them in nice and tight. I'm just kidding, social distance all the way. Let's do it. Yeah, my, you can bet my shop's looking pretty empty right now. Here's what we got to work with. Oh, so beautiful. That's beauty. Alright, we got our first tower up with our first set of eight boxes of the Works Audio. Uh, these are dual eight inch uh, line array boxes. They are powered on the back here. Um, we're going up, we've got 18 feet of truss high and uh, we'll probably go up to about 16 feet. The uh, field that we're going at is pretty sloped uphill, uh, so we've got to be careful um not to go up too high but high enough um i do have the the uh, lower boxes angled in all the way at 12 um to cover the kids in the front row uh the spread of these boxes is 110 degrees so it's pretty wide which means the uh, bottom boxes are going to throw wide and get the front row uh, which will eliminate the need to have a front fill on top of the subs which will also help uh, with phase cancellation, it'll eliminate the phase with the subs. Um, we're going to stack uh, six subs. Uh, was thinking about running them in a cardioid array, but there's only going to be maybe 600 kids here, so uh, I'd rather feel more sub on stage and just run them at 80 hertz crossover um, and run the PA at 80 hertz crossover as well. Um, and yeah, we got the wall set up. 
We just finished rigging it. Power is pretty cool this year. Uh, we've got some three-phase power action going on. Take you to the back here. The boys are pulling the power. So uh, I purchased all this power equipment, this big old distro case and lots and lots of cable over the summertime uh, during COVID. Some guys were selling it in Vegas. Um, so we've got a hundred feet of feeder cable, which is just this massive, um, I believe this is two watt. It may be four watt. There's two different sizes. Uh, you can also call it girth, the size of the cable, meaning if you're going to pull 200 amps through it or 400 amps through it. But uh, I went ahead and rented a big Jenny. It's a 36 kilowatt uh, Jenny. Uh, and I think, I believe we're getting 200 amp service uh, through these guys at 240 volts. Or at four, sorry, 480 volts. I don't know, some, some high amount of voltage. My dad loves to do all the power stuff. That's why he's on it, not me. I prefer Grand MA and, you know, that kind of fun stuff. But it basically comes into this big old distro. It feeds in here, and then it breaks out to all these different uh, other cables, uh, which have the various amp draws and voltage draws. Uh, some of them are simple. 20 amp circuit Edison's, different colors for different circuits. Um, and other ones like these are three phase, uh, like 60 amp service, 60 amps, 60 amps. So we can literally run one single cable uh, to the video wall and then break it out to Edison's at the video wall. Um, run one to each line array tower, one to the subs, one for stage lighting, and uh, uh, one for stage power. And the great thing about having it all breakered separate um, is that when you're doing audio and lighting, you don't want to put those things on the same circuit because when a sub's kick in and uh, you get a kick drum, it'll pull more power to get more, uh, get a bigger transient. Um, and it could make the LED wall or lights flicker because they lose a little bit of power when the sub kicks in. Uh, so we separate those out on two different circuits. So it uh, eliminates that, that issue. But uh, having a little break time, getting the Jenny fired up, get some power out here. We're gonna test this first stack of PA on the ground before we crank it up in the air. And then we will uh, put it up where it needs to go, um, build the second tower, go get some lunch. Um, it is 9.57, we loaded in here at about 7.30. Um, so it's been two and a half hours and we're almost done. We're gonna spend most of the time up in Scottsdale at a one of my favorite little coffee shops, uh, working on the playlist. We didn't do a whole lot of that last night, so we're gonna go sit down, get some lunch, get some coffee, do the playlist stuff, come back here at four or five when it cools off, um, and fire up lights and video. And what it is.
All right, so the, the whole wall's up. Uh, just tested it on the ground. We just cranked it up where we wanted it. Just, I mean, I'm six foot four. Sam's like three foot six. Um, so when you're standing kind of low, the bottom of the wall comes up to the top of the uh, DJ booth stage riser that we built. Um, I think it looked perfect. The whole wall is 15 and a half feet wide and it's um, six and a half feet tall. It's four and a half meters wide and it's two meters tall. So whatever that is in feet. Um, you English guys can tell me if that's big or not. Uh, but I think it is. It's pretty cool. It looks really great. I think it'll look amazing behind us. Give us a great silhouette. I spent some extra time um, on Envato.com uh, downloading a bunch of 4K graphics. The video wall is 4K. Um, and the reason it, it's 4K is because the pixel density is 3.9 mil. So each pixel is 3.9 millimeters apart from the next one. Um, and I think sub 4.8 pixels at 4.8 mil pixel you can get a 4k wall depending on how big you make the wall um, but I'm just running 1080 graphics on it at like 60 FPS um, they look fantastic they are so clean on this wall so beautiful it is an indoor wall but it's rated for uh, 2500 nit uh, the brand is dye color LED um, by far happiest video wall I've ever used um, I'm also running a Nova Star processor with it, so super easy to set it all up. But uh, we're gonna do a little DMX test with our lights, break for lunch, come back here in the evening when the stage cools down because we're just baking up there. Um, my dad got this projector set up way down here. It's gonna project on this wall there. And then, uh, Blake's EQ in the PA and playing with uh, the Soundcraft 32 in the cable world back here. He's busting it out. Yeah. What? No, I tested it. Sorry. Um, but we're gonna pay, pipe and drape off this whole side all the way back to where these bases go around this tree. And then I think we may even do some more pipe and drape on the opposite side. Hey, are you draping the other side too? You have no, I didn't bring them. It's not that big of a problem. It's not a big problem. Just pray it doesn't blow wind. All right, let's do it. See ya. All right, Jerry's doing a fun little lighting test, playing with his lights. We're doing a sound check. Um, everything's running happily. My dad, my girlfriend, and her best friend are setting up the pipe and drape. And then uh, we are going to do a little sound check for 30 minutes. I'm gonna hit the hazer. Let's see, actually I'll just like trying this. to find a money song that's clean.
so curly, I like she said, what you know about I tell you everything, I got what you need, when we finish story, can we chew on you get what you please, we bout to get it on, take off the drawers, I love you baby, it's just you and me, you know what I mean, That was pretty fun. Um, kids, attendance was attendance was good, but the space, in the venue was so wide and they had so many different things going on that it was hard to keep the kids on the dance floor. We had them on the dance floor for an hour and a half, but kids just kind of trickled off the, out the door and uh, onto party buses. Uh, my dad came and brought us Chick Fil A. Um, the dance was from seven to ten. Um, it's there's like two minutes left now. There's eight minutes left, so. Blake's up there, he was running uh, sound the whole night, so he's up there, makes it a little bit. There's still some trusty, some trusty fans. Uh, there's probably like 10 or 15 kids left that are just enjoying it, they're fun, they're not drinking and partying tonight, like probably a lot of the other kids are that went off and got on party buses. So that's still exciting. Blake's having a good time. Uh, he came out here from California, shout out Blake Newkirk. Uh, he's growing his channel up in Orange County um, and he's, uh, he's doing great. So. Uh, yeah, we got to tear down on Sunday because admin here doesn't want us to stay really late. Um, so we're just going to try to crank down the video wall and then Ooh. wobble by crank that. This one's good. I wanted to play this one earlier, but we'll see how it goes. Actually, let's just go jump in on it. Actually in two weeks. I got a bigger show in two weeks. It's gonna be a good time. Bye.